I think that when you look at the data and you see how many people, well, first of all, Pulse came out, right? And there was a short window when they came out. I did, I was not aware of it, Pulse when it came out. There was oh, a the lot of people. Space you're talking about, yeah. yeah. And, and what's happened since then, a lot more energy has been pushed in that direction so that people are understanding. There's also a lot of people who think that they missed out on Pulse. Um, it, it's an opportunity. The thing hasn't even launched yet. And yeah. so you do miss out on it. So I think that there's going to be, in the short term, I think Pulse could potentially perform a little bit better from a price standpoint due to people formally, right? There's going to yeah. be lots of people who, who got into Pulse X but did not get into Pulse who are going to sell their Pulse X, excuse me, and get into Pulse. In the, I'm, I'm personally more bullish on Pulse X given how like several different factors there. When you think about using a DEX, we don't really look at like the 0.3% fee that Uniswap charges to swap between different tokens, right? We just think about the Ethereum fee. We're like, we don't even, right? If you've ever used a DEX, we yeah, don't really yeah. think about the fee on the DEX as much, right? I like do a little bit. Kind of kind of hidden in the background almost. almost. But the main, the main thing is like, what is what are gas fees right now? Like, is it a good time to do this or should I wait till tomorrow morning or like try to do it at a time where, uh, so when you look at say Ethereum mainnet fees and you think that they're probably, I, from my experience, this short little time that I've been here, I would say for me, 20 bucks seems to be about like what would be average in my mind. Some people could argue it's a substantially less than that. Some people could argue it's a little bit lower than that. You do whatever number works for you mentally. And you look at, say, if it is 20 bucks, you go to PulseX, you get a copy of all of the shit that's on Ethereum, but a 10,000 X decrease in price from 20 bucks to 20% of one penny. Mm. You have that, you have that going on, right? So you're going to have an increase in the volume of trading because costs are so much lower. And then you have the incentive structure within PulseX, mm. where if you look at 25% of the main net fees on Pulse goes to burning, right? That fee, on main net pulse that is burnt comes in pulse where the fee that goes to buy and burn there's a difference because people say them kind of like interchangeably but they're actually there's a difference here little nuance which is the reason why i, I think pulse x could potentially perform better possibly even be bigger than pulse which is a very controversial thing to say given the history of layer ones versus anything built on top of that. Layer ones have always been the thing, the biggest thing, right? Anything mm -hmm. built on top of them has been smaller. Pulse X, 21.7% of all the fees, so 0.29% of the fee, 21% of that goes to buying and burning. Now, what does that do for the ecosystem or like, Pulse X, the fees are going to be earned when you swap back and forth those two things, right? Whatever, if it's Pulse X and Hex, right? You're going to earn fees in Pulse X and Hex. Now, when the, the buy and burn happens, they're actually going to be selling Hex and they're going to be selling Pulse to purchase Pulse X. Yeah. So there's going to be a little tiny bit of sell pressure on Pulse X, I'm uh, sorry, Pulse and Hex. And there's going to be all this just every single day, there's kind of going to be like this whale that just goes in and buys Pulse X every day. They're just going to buy Pulse X and get rid of it. Buy Pulse X and get rid of it. Buy Pulse X and get rid of it day after day. Uh, and given my background in finance and accounting, I just, I'm like 10,000 X decrease in price, which means volume is going to increase. You have these other factors going on where somebody's just buying stuff every single day in it. I am super bullish on Pulse X. Super yeah. Bullish. Yeah, me too. I, I what, what are you? What are you? If you, what are your two thoughts on like those two? Uh, I love to yeah. hear your thoughts on that. Well, yeah, one of the, one of the things I'm, I'm uh, I want to clarify this, but um, I believe as well that, like you said, multiple different currencies on um, will be uh, there'll be a transaction fee from that that will be sold, and then 
buying up Pulse X in comparison, correct me if I'm wrong, with Pulse, it's, it's, it doesn't work in that exact same manner because it's a DEX, right? So um, when you talk about the other Ethereum-based projects that are moving on and, and are going to be on, um, I think like what, Shiba Inu, um, I can't think of, is Link another one off the top of my head? There's a, bo there's a boatload of projects. Oh, yeah, loads and loads of projects, as well as a bunch of scam coins that will probably <laughs> pump yes. and dump on the yes. new network. But at the same time, where are they going to trade on? Well, they're going to trade on Pulse X, right? They're gonna, and so what happens when you trade on Pulse X and you, you're going to make transactions on that, that network? That network then uses a buy and burn function, which then buy, buys up the price. So I think you're spot on. And I think people are going to dump it so quickly, you know, on Snapchat because they, they want to trade straight for, for Pulse. Um, and they're really not seeing the opportunity cost of that. And then on top 